I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I'm a full-time social media influencer, content creator, whatever you want to call it. But I also do a ton of thrifting for my Boho Home Decor Shop, which is Urban Darling Shop, which is kind of like a side hustle slash passion hobby of mine. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I picked up on my last thrift trip which was yesterday. If you guys missed that video, I will link it for you guys. I always do like a thrift with me vlog and then a thrift haul afterwards. Sometimes I combine them, it just kind of like depends. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get into it. I went to two different Goodwill locations and I found about four to five items at each one. So we'll start with this bag first. And I got a lot of different things. So the first thing I picked up is this beautiful ceramic mug and oh there's a tag on it but underneath the tag you can see that it was handmade. There's some initials ALB and I actually found a ton of these handmade ceramics with that same initial. I would have bought more of them but honestly they were very heavy surprisingly. This mug was like one of the lighter pieces and because the item the other pieces were so heavy I was just worried about like the shipping being too expensive so I had to pass on those but I thought this mug was beautiful. I love this like teal green color. It's just so pretty. I'm a big fan of earth tones and green so I thought that that was beautiful and I would keep this for myself. I still might but I might end up listing it in my shop so we'll see. So just so you guys know some of these items are items that I'm going to keep for myself and then some of it is inventory for my shop. So usually I will let you guys know if it's something that I'm keeping or if it's something that's going up in my shop. Okay next is this wood cutting board. I've sold a few different cutting boards in the past and one that was like I think this exact one um, it does have some like wear and tear on it but pieces like these are great for decorating like a kitchen if you have open shelves you can like stack them with different items like group together you can also just stack them like in a grouping on your counters so a lot of great things that you can do with this as far as decor or of course you can use it as a cutting board i like to use these for picnics as well just to like put little items on for display and stuff so definitely very useful and this will be going up in my shop next is this wood decor piece it's a wood heart and it's actually very thick and it has all these different like layers of wood which make it really cool definitely great for like boho valentine's day decor but also super cute just as decor in general i love wood pieces like this it's great for like mixing textures together as you guys can see i like to mix like wicker wood ceramics and all that fun stuff i think it just adds like more interest to your home so definitely a great wood decor piece and this will be going up in my shop and i just thought it was like very unique so i thought for sure somebody would love this i also picked up this brass paper towel holder so great for brass lovers i feel like brass like this kind of decor actually looks really great with boho decor like boho chic which that's kind of like what i consider my interior style to be is kind of like boho chic and i feel like brass decor like this really complements that style some people like absolutely love brass decor i don't have a ton of it in my own home but i think brass like this looks super great with boho chic decor so this will be going up in my shop I also picked up this wood rack. I don't really know what you would call these. I think it's like a wood shelving rack unit. <laughs> I'm not sure what the exact name is, but you basically just hang it up on your wall. I've actually got one in my entryway and I just hang like my purses on it. You can hang coats, you can hang hats, all that good stuff. 
This one's like a little bit different because the end doesn't have like an end piece. Usually you'll see it where it's just like the same on this side. But I love this like wood tone and it's in really great condition. The one that's hung up in my entryway is actually a little bit rickety, but this one is in great condition. So if you guys like that look, this will be going up in my next drop as well. Okay, next is everything I picked up at the second Goodwill location. Much bigger bag. So the first thing I picked up is this basket here, which is a long rectangular basket. It has a pretty good depth to it. So you can actually store quite a bit in here. Um, this looks great on shelves. It's great for like office storage just any kind of thing that you would want to store or display. I love wicker baskets for. They're super useful and I think the texture of it is just super fun and definitely gives your home that like bohemian feel. This is the only basket that I picked up. There were tons of other baskets, but I have several in my shop. So I passed on some of the ones that like I already have similar baskets to, but this one was a little bit more unique. So I wanted to pick this one up and it's also like very sturdy. Some, some wicker baskets can be like very delicate, but this one is very sturdy, great condition, so super good for storing stuff. Okay, so I take that back. I actually did get another basket, but this one's a little bit more different because it's a basket with rope. So it's a hanging basket, which I love. You can use basket like baskets like these and hang them up in your kitchen um, from like the ceiling or whatever, and then use it to store like fruits and vegetables or something like that. You can also put like a plant in here and use it as a planter basket. So definitely lots of things that you could do with it. And I still have to figure out if I'm keeping this for myself or if it'll be good for my shop. I have kind of like weird ceilings which you can't see right now but my apartment is um it's like an attic loft apartment so we've got kind of like these weird ceiling slopes and stuff so i want to kind of like look around and see if there's a spot that would work for this but just because it's kind of like fun and unique i'm kind of wanting to keep it but if not it'll go up in my shop and sorry i didn't mention like i haven't been mentioning prices just because like I haven't done that in the past, but I figured I would share some of these prices with you. So this um, basket here was $3.99, and I think that's a fair price for this item. And let's see here, what other items did I show you guys? I think this mug was only a dollar. Okay, I'll be sure to tell you guys prices on these next ones. Next is this ceramic bowl here. It's not quite a bowl, I don't know what you would call it though, but it's like this handmade ceramic woven bowl type thing. <laughs> and um, you can see that it was handmade. There isn't like a signature or anything, but it definitely looks like a handmade piece. And I just thought this was super unique. You could actually even use it as like a planter. So just put like a little plant in here and it's like a super cute way of dressing that up. You can also use this to store like hair accessories, anything like that. And I love like this clay terracotta ceramic look. I definitely try to keep items like this for myself just because I really like the look of it. It's kind of like that Southwestern style look. So I usually keep these kind of items for myself. So I'm gonna see if I have a spot for it in my home, but if I don't, then it will go up in my shop. And this didn't have a price, so I think that they sold it to me for $2. So definitely a great deal for that. And then the last thing that I picked up is another one of these hanging racks. <laughs> I need to figure out what these are actually called, but it's actually almost the exact same one as this one. Oh, they're slightly different. So this one has like more of a green tone to it, like a yellowy green tone. And this one has more of like a brownish red tone. But this one is like f the full thing. So you, as you guys can see, this one has like an opening at the end. And then this one's closed on both ends. But 
that they're both in super great condition and you actually hang them from these metal things on the back. So you would just put a nail through there on both ends and they're actually much more sturdy than you would think because the one that I have in my entry is kind of rickety. It wasn't like in the greatest condition and I have quite a few things hanging on it that are fairly heavy and it hasn't like fallen at all, it hasn't broken. So I would say that these are much sturdier than you might think. This one was $3.99 and this was at the East Liberty Goodwill location and this one was $2.99. So a dollar less at the Lawrenceville location, which I've definitely noticed that the Goodwill in East Liberty, close to where I live, like their prices are a little bit higher than some of the other Goodwills, but I still like to go there just because it's like close to my apartment and, um, and they have like good stuff usually. Okay guys, so that is everything that I picked up on this thrift trip. Like I said, these items will be going up in my drop this week, which my drops usually always go up on Fridays, but if I don't make it on Friday, then I usually post them on Saturday. And I do weekly drops, although this past month I had to take a break from thrifting because my foot was injured in that dog attack, my neighbor dog attacked my labradoodle and um, while I was trying to defend him, I really hurt and scraped up like my ankle foot. So I thought that it was gonna heal quickly, but it has still been hurting and it's been like a month. So I tried to basically just spend the month like taking it easy and staying off my foot. But now that it's starting to feel a little bit better, I wanted to get back into thrifting because it had been too long and I was just kind of antsy to get back out there and do more thrifting. So my first thrift trip and haul in like a month. So I'm definitely gonna try to get back into more thrifting because I know that you guys really enjoy my thrifting videos. I really enjoy them too, of course. So should be a lot more of those coming your way. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing for more thrifting content. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.